attorney general will help dictate the future of the death penalty in Arizona. In each of the three executions since they restarted this year, witnesses reported trouble getting the IV with the lethal drugs in. All new at six, Ashley Holden goes in depth on the process. Mr. Hooper was pronounced dead at 1034 a.m. Murray Hooper was the third death row inmate Arizona has executed in 2022. Wednesday, media witnesses noted the time it took for the IV team to successfully place two. It took the IV team quite a while to get uh, find a vein and they finally went into his femoral artery. During the other two executions this year, witnesses also noted the IV team struggling. What we know from uh, the recent executions and executions conducted between 2010 and 2014, Arizona seems to have a pattern of uh, going to the femoral vein. Um, and uh, the question is why? How come the, the individuals who are selected to insert uh, the lines, how come they cannot get a peripheral vein. Dale Bache, a former public defender, has witnessed 14 lethal injection executions. The people uh, who are inserting uh, the lines into the veins need to be skilled. Uh, and, um, you know, I question whether whether they have the the necessary skill set. The Arizona Department of Corrections Rehabilitation and Reentry Policy says the IV team is selected by the ADCRR director and consists of two or more people ranging from physicians to just certified or licensed personnel. The decision of where to place the IV is made by the IV team leader. Thursday, we asked the department how they check the team's qualifications, along with other questions, but did not hear back. The current Attorney General, Mark Burnovich, had previously promised to execute all of Arizona Arizona's death row inmates who had exhausted their appeals by the end of his term. So we asked officials about the future plans for executions. I don't know. We, I mean, there's, we've had an election recently, so I yeah. think you need to ask that of the attorney general's office. While he tweeted about Wednesday's execution, he did not respond directly to our questions. The long-term future rests with either Chris Mays or Abe Hamaday. Thursday, Mays wouldn't give us a comment, and we didn't hear back from Hamaday. In Phoenix, Ashley Holden, ABC 15, Arizona. The Arizona Department of Corrections just got back to us. They wouldn't answer our questions about qualifications to administer the IV, saying it's protected under state law.